Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of a new SSD from Kingston. This is their SSD Now V Plus. So we've already talked about the SSD Now V Plus series an awful lot. I did a full install guide where I showed upgrading my laptop from a 5400 RPM mobile hard drive to an SSD Now V Plus, but this one is slightly different. This is their 100E series of SSD Now V Plus, and this one is fully encrypted. So that means your data is completely protected when it is on this drive. Now, what exactly does that mean? Well, it has 120-bit AES hardware encryption, which means that you're not fooling around with any kind of software solution. It increases your system and application performance. Well, that's just a characteristic of an SSD in general, and it increases reliability. So that's another general SSD ability. So let's go ahead and take this guy out and have a look. This is a 64 gig drive, although it is available in different capacities depending on your needs. And let's just kind of... Sorry, I have to focus when I'm using knives because otherwise I could damage my unboxing fingers. Without those, I mean, I wouldn't be able to unbox anything. I'd be in real trouble. Okay, here we go. So, oh, they're claiming up to five times faster than a standard 5400 RPM hard drive. I mean, uh, I would say that's probably conservative depending on what you're doing because if you're using a 5400 RPM hard drive, I mean, obviously they're targeting the SKU at notebooks for business users who might not want people having unauthorized access to their hard drive. But depending what you're doing, I mean, an SSD can just blow away a standard hard drive. Like if you're doing lots of little data accesses versus sustained data transfers. So here we go, English. So you got some system requirements. You need a SATA interface and power connector, handling precautions, be very careful with it. Uh, don't you know rub your feet around on the carpet and then touch, touch it, to try and zap it, because that's a terrible idea. Uh, set up ATA security cat passwords. Here we go. Hey, check this out. Okay, so this is how the encryption works. So never lose, misplace, or forget your master and or user password. Never do that. Once you enable an ATA security password, this SSD will be permanently inaccessible if your password is lost, misplaced, or stolen. So administrators and managers, we recommend that you set a master password, which cannot be reset if lost, misplaced, or stolen. Therefore, always store the master password in a safe, secure location. So there you go. You better be careful. Once you've set this guy up, if you like get hit in the head really hard and you develop amnesia, you're in real trouble unless someone else has the master password and they can bail you out. So you've got your standard mounting holes, which are on the bottom or on the sides for two and a half inch drives, just like that. You know, it's actually substantially heavier than most SSDs that I've encountered in the past as well. You've got a little warranty void if removed sticker here, so please don't take the drive apart. You've got a standard SATA 2 interface at the back. That means SATA 2 power as well as SATA 2 data along with some jumpers. And that's pretty much it. I mean, the finish of the drive is quite nice, but what this really comes down to is who needs this? Let's say you're working on, you know, a top secret project for the military or you're working on something for, you know, your company that you don't want to get into the hands of your competitors. You want to make sure that even if your laptop is stolen or lost, any data that you have on it cannot be accessed unless it's being turned on by you. This is what you need. Because, I mean, really, uh, it's so easy to break past a Windows password or to just take a drive out, throw it in another system, and then access all the data that uh, there's no security at all with a regular drive. Whereas if you have a hardware encrypted drive, you can actually protect it from anyone who is trying to steal your data.